But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. As you see, we don't have many because many are not expecting us to be in this time. But, you know, we try our best to come in different time zones so people can join us. Uh, as you see the title, Quran is full of miracles. Uh, but I cannot find one. So uh, today I'm hoping that we will get some Mohammedans they can call us I will turn on my Skype and we will do a friendly challenge very friendly challenge I am here to challenge all the Mohammedan around the world to find me one thing can be called miracle in the Quran just one if we search in uh, YouTube I will not be exaggerating if I say there's millions of videos made about the miracles of the Quran. Millions, not hundreds or thousands. If we search um, in Google, that will not be any different. It will be even more scary. Quran miracles is one of top I just search in Google let me show you in the screen I found a result of 3,440,000 time in less than 50 uh, less than a 50 second or 50 of a second 56 of a second 3,440,000 time in there's articles, videos, you name it. Scientific miracles in the Quran. And if you take a look at any of them, especially if you are a person who have knowledge in this cult, you will find right away that this religion is absolutely has zero to claim, and all those miracles is a fabrication. Which other level of a proof that Islam is a false religion? Because, you see, I mean, how false it is to the point, there is millions of religions that are false. But this false religion is false to the point, you need to make a false miracle to make people believe in it. This is how desperate this religion is. My Skype is open. If any Mohammedan would like to join us in the conversation, feel free. Now, if we go to any of those websites, 
uh, and we choose any of those so-called miracles, we will find that this is laughable miracle. However, if you are a person who do not know this cult, you do not know anything about it, they can fool you because all these miracles or this claim or those videos is based on lying. As an example, we heard the Muslims speaking about the mathematical miracles of the Quran, like uh, number 19. And then anyone who speaks little Arabic, he will go and he will find that this number 19 is not even exist there. It is a lie. And always I notice that those, especially those who, who uh, you know, miracles who depend in languages, they are presented in front of people who don't speak the language. I remember once uh, Shabir Ali was uh, speaking in uh, ABN TV. I think there was uh, there Sham Sam Shamoon or David, I'm not sure. And he mentioned how many times certain word repeated and etc. You know, do he dare to mention that to me? Do he dare even to let me speak to him? He don't. So this book is full of miracles. But I find it a very laughable book from the beginning to the end. You know, if we ask the Muslim, what is the first chapter Muhammad he received? The first, the first sentence, you know, ever. Before Muhammad, he was not a prophet, as we heard the guy who called himself Sheikh Uth Uthman, this balloon. Uh, he was saying that Muhammad, he is not from the Abrahamic faith, and this is the truth. He is not from the Abrahamic faith. But this person, who is not from the Abrahamic faith, he tried to attach himself to any faith, so in order to gain audience and followers, like any scam. And this guy, he claimed that when he was in a cave, someone came to him and he squeezed him three times. And each time he squeezes him, he says to him, read. And then Muhammad, he says to him, uh, I cannot read. So this sentence repeated three times, read, or the word. And Muhammad keeps saying, I cannot read. Here the story, you will see how laughable it is. Because either the angel is stupid or the God who is saying the words to Muhammad is stupid. If the guy he cannot read, why you say to him read? That is a miracle. This God do not know that Muhammad cannot read. Then the smart God who do not know that Muhammad cannot read, he say to Muhammad, read in the name of your Lord, the one who created the man from a dead blood. see the miracles how they start this is the beginning this God he just start doing poo poo he did not even say hello I mean isn't it weird that this angel he came to Muhammad he did not even say assalamu alaikum oh because Muhammad now he did not learn assalamu alaikum from the Jews so he was not saying it yet the Muhammadan they claim that the one who came to Muhammad, his name is Gabriel, which is in Arabic, Jibreel, supposedly. Even the name is wrong. But Jibreel, when he came to Mary, Gabriel, he said to her, Shalom to you, Mary. Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, no shalom, no lalom, no hello, no how are you doing, Abdul, nothing. Right away, squeezing. And this is another sign of miraculous prophet. And then this miraculous prophet, after he'd been squeezed three times and no mayonnaise came out, and he keeps saying to this angel, I cannot read. Then the angel gave him news. Read in the name of the one who created the man from dead blood. Now for sure, this is scientifically proven to be true that we used to be dead blood. And you know, then you add some olive oil and you know, like some spice, uh, you know, 
you know, you say like uh, karaku, shakaraku, kakaka, you know, like, you know, kaka, you know, like voodoo. And then the dead blood, the dead blood will start to grow and become a man. This is the beginning of the miraculous Quran. This is the beginning. This Muhammad did not even say anything yet. The one who's talking is Allah. So if this book is the book of miracles, I mean, how the start was horrible. Do we have any Muhammad want to say anything? Do we have any Muhammad want to say anything? If you are a Muhammad, then text me in Skype. I will take you. All right. Uh, always I find it amazing that somebody he have a brain he can read and he can write and he don't see how silly how stupid this book is any Mohammedan? Now, after we finish our podcast today, you will see how the, the heroes in the chat talking about the scientific miracles of the Quran, and they will start even posting links. Shall we go to Muslim website to read the miracles? Kini Bomer? I don't know what's wrong with this David with, honestly. I mean, this guy, he debates every fool in the world. And he make it official debate. I and mean, come on, let him call you and just have a conversation. This guy don't even have a high school. I know what's wrong with this day, but he make me upset, really. He bring all the street boys and he make them famous. That's what he do. You want him to talk to you, open your Skype, let him call you, let everybody, you know. But don't make it an official debate. This guy is just a poor guy. I mean, he have no idea. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, David, would he have a specialty? Do we have any Abdul here? Destroyed him. I mean, this guy, he have don't have high school. Do you need to destroy him? Destroy him. You see, when you if you when we open Skype, we say anyone can call me. We don't really call this is a debate, because debate have to be between people who have knowledge. So if somebody he claimed to be a sheikh, and then he call me, eh, we will maybe we can call it a debate. But a guy he don't you know like Abbas he called me a million times. We laugh you know. Can you can you take what Abbas say seriously? Or ultimate fault. Those people they say whatever, and this is what David would he do. You know, he debated a street boy like Mimi Hijab. I don't mind to talk to Mimi Hijab, make him shish kebab, but don't make an official debate. Made him famous. Any debate based in ten minutes for you, ten minutes for me is a joke. All right. Secondly, debate have to be between two knowledgeable people. Where are they? Uh, yeah, he volunteered to bring the food. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Anyway, this is what he do, what we can do. Everybody, you know, he's afraid to do as he wish. Do we have any Mohammedan want to tell us about the scientific, certain ten, 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 ten miracles? Huh? Actually, here, here, uh, here I see a miracle. I remember this one. The Muslim they speak about chapter 96, verse number 15, and they make a miracle about it. Let me let me search for it. Hold on, give me a second. Just to show you how how funny those miracles.
as an example. <clears throat> Not limited to. So we searched for the miracle and we found it as usual. Scientific facts. This is the Muslim article. This is the Mohammedan article. Okay. Human brain contain major loops, which I don't know you are talking about a human brain include who? Is that include Muhammad? I don't know what kind of loops he has. But we will go. Major loops, which are frontal loop. Okay, so okay, and and then each loop is ex an exclusive role. Okay, in the same time, uh, perform complementary rules. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, just to make sure the article, we don't want to read all. You can you can take your time. Just search for it. They claim here that scientists they found that the area where lines happened or line happen is in here, as you see in the picture. Those where the loops are of line. That you see the yellow area? I don't know, I don't think this is true, my friend. I think Muhammad, all his head is, is yellow. I, I don't know, you can, you can prove me wrong. Uh, Why you are attacking Hadith? Many Muslims are Quranists. If you stop attacking Hadith and listen to Quran, you will be a Muslim. Hmm. Okay. Why you don't, uh, you know, let me call you the one. If, if, at least you use a Muslim, na Muslim name. Shame on you. Call yourself Jeffrey. You're ashamed to be Muhammad now. So listen here. This is the scientific study. I'm not going to discuss the science. I'm not a scientist, but I will take this is for granted that this is true. That this is the loop where control the lies. But what does this have to do with the verse in the Quran? Where in the Quran is speaking about the loops? If you go here in the top, in the picture, it says, Quranic miracle, the four lock. The four lock. Okay. And then if we go down a little bit, we will find, it says, chapter 96, verse number 15 and 16. It says Allah, or Allah is speaking, he will catch him from his forelock. Okay. What does this have to do with the loops? Any Muslim can help me? The forelock is hair. It's not inside the head. <laughs> So how the forelock, which is hair, became become the loops in the brain. I mean, even your stupid translation says forelock. Do you see the stupidity? So what the hair, which is in the front of the head, like the people lie from their hair? <laughs> Let us see this guy. Hold on. We hope he's a real Abdul, not a scam. <clears throat> hmm. 
think that's called here. So we just showed you an example of how the Mohammedan they lie and they fabricate. And their lies is silly, stupid, does not make sense. I mean, what is that, man? How in the world you change? You try to switch the science, speaking about loops inside the brain, to make it about the forelock, which is nothing but hair. All what the Quran says, we will grab him from his hair. The front hair. Uh, but by the way, do the front hair lie? Is lying? This is an example of the silly miracles of the Quran. Let us see this Muhammadan. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I know who is this. Uh, yes, my friend, you are live on air. Okay, uh, I am live on air. But yeah. better if I... Uh... Don't speak with uh, life because I want to. Oh, you don't want to speak uh, life? You don't want to speak in private? Uh, yeah, it's better. Uh, I well, can't say I, what something. Well, for, uh, for now, I'm live on air. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, I'm going to say what something on the uh, live air. Yes? Can I say right. it? Sure, go ahead. Uh, I am 42 years old. I come uh, now, I am in Germany. I come from Holland. All right. I am born in, uh, from uh, Muslim uh, parents. All right. I can't tell from uh, the name, okay. And now I am uh, with Ein Friend. All right. Uh, I think three, four weeks I am here in Germany, and I mm -hmm. see just too much things from Muhammad. And now I am, uh, uh, how can you say? I changed my uh, mind. Now I am no Muslim anymore. Now I right. believe in Jesus. All right. And but. Uh, I need what questions, uh, answers, and that cannot I uh, ask from uh, uh, life. Uh, why, why not? Let, you know, ask your questions so everybody can learn and you know get the benefit of the question. Okay. Why? Uh, how can I say in English? Yeah, my English is it's not so good. Don't worry. Why Jesus make people? Why? Why he need? Because we are bad. We why, make why, bad why, why Jesus, he need us? Yes. He created us. He created us. Why? Oh. Well, you know, Jesus, he did not create you to be bad. Jesus, you know, even like Satan himself, the Bible says that God created him as an angel. But we, he gave us a free will. So, uh, uh, you want to be good, you want to be bad, you know, it's up to you. So God, he don't want, because our God, this is why we call him the Father. We don't call him like Allah. He is, uh, you know, the, 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 the people who believe in him, they are his slaves. We are, we, we pray to the Father, we call him Father. Why? Because he say, okay, you are like my children. I give you free will. Be good. But it's up to you not to be good. So now if you, if you, if you ask me, uh, well, why we are bad? Well, he told us not to be bad, but we choose to be bad. So, are we going to complain because the one who created us, he gave us a free will? Because he treated us yes. with respect? No, we cannot. So, imagine I said to you, you are free. You want to stay here, you want to go, it's up to you. And then you, com you complain. You say, no, I don't want to be free. I want to be slave. You know what I mean? Yes, so I God, know what you mean. So, God, he created you and he wanted you to be good, but he gave you free will. So. If you choose to be a bad person, well, eh, it's your choice. So God did not create us to be bad. He never did. Okay, I know what you mean. But uh, Christian Prince, 
if I look to the people, uh, yeah, with uh, mind, with uh, head, why, why they not see the truth? Well, not all people don't see, my friend. There is a lot of people see, and there is a lot of people don't see. Uh, but uh, uh, let us make it more simple. I believe that there is major number of people who are looking for the truth, including Muslims. So a Muslim, when he pray to his God, he is seeking the truth. You know, he is. Uh, he think he is. Many of them they think that they are believing in the true God, and this is why they fight for him, they die for him, they kill for him, right? Because they believe in this God. But it doesn't mean that they have the truth there. So people look for the truth, and there is a there is let us say a fight in this earth between the bad and the good. The bad is satanic, the good is coming from the good God. So when we look at Muhammad, we find that Muhammad is a satanic person. He's with nine years old child, everything that I... Uh, six years old, last six years old. Weeks, six, six, years, six, six years old, what I yeah. see last three, three four weeks yeah. from the Quran, I, first I cannot believe, and after every day, every day I was uh, looking for answers with my friend here, he was before Oak also Muslim. Yes. And uh, he let me see the truth, everything. And I think so funny. I am now 42 years old. Just now I can see the truth. Why I was blind? You know, sometimes things happen for a reason. Maybe at certain time in your life, you were not looking. You were not thinking about it. You take it for granted. You know, you grow up in a family. You know, you're busy in normal life. More of us, many, many of us, we go through this, you know. Uh, and, and then in a certain time, uh, you know, you notice that there is something wrong. So the, the good thing is, it's not why you are, you did not see this until you became 42 years old. The good thing is that you saw it now and you know that this is not the correct belief. Yes, you know? and I want, I want to go after one week, go back to my country, back to Holland. Yeah. And I want to speak with my family about this. Right. And uh, uh, when you have time, not uh, well, you know, you, you can contact me in Patreon, uh, just send me an email, tell me, uh, can you be, etc. I will, you know, just be sure that your family there in the certain time and tell me your time, you know, in uh, uh, or calculate your time based on New York time. Tell me, like, I will be, let's say, 2 p.m. New York time, then I will okay. be, I, I will do my best to call you and speak to you and your family in private. Okay, that's special. Unless you want to be, you want to be live on air. I, I don't mind, you know. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Who is the Who is the brother next to you? Uh, that is uh, my uh, brother uh, from Germany. I was here for a uh, holiday, and All right. <laughs> it is yeah from uh, Jesus. He's an ex-Muslim too. He's an ex-Muslim. He was. He's ex-Muslim also. Yes. Yeah. Can I Wonderful. give to him? Oh sure, sure. I would I'd be happy to talk to him too. No, no, not now. Not later. Huh? Yes, hello, CP. Hello, my friend. How are you? <laughs> yes, I'm listening to you. I'm good. I'm trying to be good. Thank you. My yeah. English also um, limited. It's not very good. So don't worry about your English. My German is even more horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about yeah. it. I was in Germany yeah. actually uh, 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 three years ago, I think. I don't know if you saw, I, I, I had a, a live uh, broadcast with uh, Amir. I don't know if you know Amir. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I know met him, him when we had a live broadcast from Germany. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see this, but I know Amir also. I saw some videos from him um, years ago, years ago, yeah. as he was a young, young, young man. <laughs> so what, what yeah. made you leave Islam too? Like, you know, if, if you'd like to oh, say. It's a very long story. It All began right. like. I'm, I, I was I was I was always thinking there's something wrong how they pray how they fast how they live how they the whole lifestyle I, I was thinking I had also a dog I had a wife a Muslim wife okay. and um, I had a dog and this dog made so much problems to the whole family there was some kind of religious uh, people yeah and they did not even come into my house you know <laughs> uh, because of the dog and, and I was I was thinking Allah what's your problem with the dog why you make bad things to my family I think God is good and good things come from God and so this was 
the beginning of my research, after I left left this um, people, I took my dog and ran away from them. So that was the beginning of of of, of the end of Islam for me and the end of Allah. And then you know God um, showed me the true, like step for step. Someone I met Amir, then 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 you came, then someone other came, and things happened. And you know it was not like um, from now to 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 the, to tomorrow in a process like one day. It took time. It took yeah. a little bit of time, you know. Yeah. And then I was sure, I, as I see the uh, black stone with the vagina from vagina form. I was sure, okay, <laughs> this, this must be the, the devil. <laughs> but you know, I find your, your story is, is kind of amazing because you left Islam. The reason, like the, the, like the one dog. was a dog. A dog, he made you, you know, yeah. is, it, is it amazing how you see? Yes, how it's the amazing. Truth... I'm telling the people, you see my dog. I see, you see my dog. Yes, what, 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 now what? I say, this dog took me out of Islam, if you believe or not. This, yeah. That's amazing. Amazing. Yes. You see, actually, here you see that Muhammad is a fraud because even he said that angels don't enter a house, have a dog or an image. And name for me, one Muslim who don't have images in his phone or in his wall or in his house. Same yeah, time, cool. what kind of angel, he have, he have a phobia from dogs or he is weak. I mean, how in the yeah. world this dog can stop an angel of God from entering a house of a prophet? Yeah, the Azrael cannot come. You know, it's funny. If I would would stay a Muslim, I would have dogs. You know, because I can live forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. we can. <laughs> That's the what Muslim a, logic. You know, CP. <laughs> yeah, what, what a stupid religion! What a stupid religion! I'm very You know. Yeah, and, uh, you uh, know why? Why don't? Why they? Why they don't have dogs in their house? Like, ten dogs, eleven dogs. Because Azrael cannot come in, so no, one dog, one dog, with, uh, one little dog. puppy, or well, puppy, not even a dog. I mean, it's just a small, tiny puppy that will it's stop the angel will come from your house. Not only this, the the one who have dogs in in, in his house, Allah, uh, you know, he will curse you, or let us say he will yeah. take he will take from your deeds, you know. So yeah, yes, yes, yes. I heard yeah. about. Yeah, I heard about it from 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 uh, from you. Uh, your good deeds will be will be gone. Every day, yeah. Every day, Allah will take this. Will will take some from your bank account just because you have yes. a dog. <laughs> uh, what about when I don't have any more? What what he will take away? He will go minus. This, no, this, no this, this is, this is a, you remind me of me when I was in school. There's a teacher. She got so upset from me, and she keep giving me like minus five, minus five each time I do something bad, and then I became yeah. my like uh, she, uh, became under zero. So minus. 20 and a zero minus 50 <laughs> and a zero. zero yeah like i don't have more grade no more like you know <laughs> what what now <laughs> so also they have they have if they touch if they touch a dog they have yeah, to yeah. wash them they complete seven, the, seven all time. the body seven now you, uh, not only this if your dog he lick your uh, uh your dish you have to wash it seven times seven times oh, and oh. and the funny by the way that Muhammad himself, he used to jump in a water, have dead dogs in it, and women of blood from period. So yeah. how how in, in the world that a living dog is very filthy, according to Islam, and he is disgusting creature, and even Muhammad, he claimed that he is Satan, and he is the one who will destroy your, uh, 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 destroy your prayer. And then we find that Muhammad himself is, a, is a, uh, swimming in a little jacuzzi not with dogs, <laughs> not with dogs, with I'm dead dogs, with bodies of dogs, you know? You know what, what I'm thinking right now? Um, yeah. This um, stuff, also I heard from you, also Allah has, has a dog, right? Yeah, and Allah have a dog too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, this is, this is like a cartoon, it's like a Mickey yeah. Mouse, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a uh, new stuff for my friend. I, yeah. I want that uh, you uh, that he can hear us also. Did you know that Allah has a dog, my friend? No, first time. The first time he's hearing it. Yeah, if you read the chapter of An Najm, uh, when uh, uh, Muhammad was speaking to his cousin, his cousin he said to him, "I don't want to worship the god of the stars. This is this is the the, the you know the Allah, the moon god." 
So, yeah. uh, so then Muhammad, the, the Muslim is claim, according to Muhammad, that Allah, he sent his dog and he ate him in when he's in his way to Yemen. Yeah. And Muhammad, he said to him, Aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's, a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fiction, a fiction movie. Uh, have uh, scary, stupid stories, and you know, depend on the size of your brain, you accept. Yeah. You know, if your brain is in the size of a brain, actually, even even a mosquito will not believe in Islam. You know, actually, even yeah. mosquito have a story. You know, once I ask yeah. Muslim Sheikh, uh, he said Allah is about justice. I said, okay, your prophet, as an example, he said, there's two goats are fighting, and Allah will question why they are fighting. He said, yes, true, and he said to me. Uh, or I ask him, I forgot. Uh, as an example, the mosquito. So, the, uh, okay, I said, the, so is the mosquito now going to be judged by Allah for sucking my blood? He said, sure. I said, why? Uh -huh. She said, he said, because she is sucking your blood. I said, but this is what she eat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Allah is the one who made her? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, stupid. so, if you so start Allah, questioning yourself, yeah. yeah. The second you question this, uh, this, you know, this madness religion, if we can't go to religion, you will find yeah. how silly it is, and uh, uh, yeah. And here, uh, this I have the hadith uh, in front of us. Uh, and, uh, you cannot you, see. We are just on the phone, uh, brother. Yeah. We All cannot right. no see problem. now, but later we can look into it. No problem. Well, join us in YouTube. We are live. You can listen to us. And if you don't know how yeah. to find the link, go to Patreon. You do not need to, you know, uh, Patreon is for everybody is welcome. You do not need to make donation. When we say Patreon, is just a way to find me. So go there. Right. You can click at the link right there, the, 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 the first one in the top. And then you can join us in the live screen. screen. All right. right. All right. Take care, right. my friend. God bless you. And I'm okay. happy for you both to Take leave care. Islam. And I hope soon his family will yeah. leave Islam too. I will be happy to help them. Take care. And say hello Take to your dog. Care. Say hello to your dog from me. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> I will do. I will do. I promise. Take care. All right. All right. <laughs> if I'm there, I will buy him some treat, you know. <laughs> I mean, look look at this miraculous religion. I mean, have you can you believe that there is there is a God? He teach that a dog is the enemy of Allah. And we need to kill all the dogs. And then when the people start complaining, Muhammad said, okay, don't kill the hunting dog or the guardian dog. Any other dog kill him, specifically the black dog. Miracle. Miracle. But here you notice, by the way, that the stupidity of Muhammad is very helpful to expose him even after 1400 years ago. Those two brothers who called us today from Germany and the other one I think he is originally from Holland and both originally they are from Muslim countries uh, the second they are exposed to the truth the second they will leave this madness let us see we have a Mohammedan trying to call us The Muhammadan rejected my call. Hmm. Call declined. Well, we will block you. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? What is the miracle? Is it really the miraculous religion who discover that the black dog is uh, Satan? It's a science, brother. Who can discover this? Black dog, black bird, anything is totally black in, for Muhammad is evil. Now, someone might say, well, how come the Muslim they kiss the black stone? Our friend, the Muslim believed that the black stone was white, like milk. And then the sin of mankind made it black. So Muhammad teach racism, claiming that sin make you black. And this is, by the way, even in the Quran, we can find many verses about it. 
the black stone was like milk. Okay, what happened? Well, the sin of mankind, my friend. See what the sin does? The sin of mankind made it black. And let us find the hadith. So Muhammad and they will not say. Uh, today, actually, I don't want to forget this. Today, I saw in the news that there is a Muslim woman. She is, I think, 26 years old. She insulted the Prophet of Allah in WhatsApp and the the, 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 the court uh, of Pakistan, Pornistan. They order uh, uh, her execution. Can you believe it? How filthy, how garbage this religion is? Execution for, you know, insulting Muhammad. Do you see how Islam is protected? Not by Allah. Not Allah, not by Allah for sure. Allah cannot protect Muhammad. And the funny, the Quran says that Allah is stop anyone from laughing at Muhammad. And then we find we are laughing at him today. And the one who is trying to stop people from laughing at Muhammad is the criminals. And in this case, the Pakistani government, which USA and Joe Biden give them a lot of money. And we have an ambassador there. We have an ambassador in such a garbage, which is a garbage government. And we give them every year hundreds of millions of dollars for AIDS. In the front of us, it says here, it's reported by the messenger of Alat saying the black stone descend from paradise whiter than milk, but the sins, sin of man, the children of Adam, made it black. So Islam teach that sin make you black. Miracle. Miracle. And by the way, you know, if you execute this woman, as don't we mention her, we pray for her actually. She isn't a Christian, but doesn't matter really. Uh, if you execute this woman, you will not make any difference except showing how evil this garbage cult is. It's really evil. Where is the source of Allah dog? Uh, I can't find it for you in Arabic, but then you have to use Prophet Google translation. No problem. <clears throat> All right, this is Tafsir al Tabari. I will post the link for you. You can use Google Translation to translate, you know, and I will do that actually in the screen. This is a Tabari page. This is from page number 493, 494, 495. And here is a tabari, as we see. And then you don't speak the language, you know. So what you do, click a translate. And then after you translate the page, search for the word dog. In English for sure. <laughs> you see it aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you so the guy he went out for a trade business 
and Allah he sent his dog and he ate that guy can you see it? be aware that Allah dog will eat you the translation is funny but you know you got it again the page number there in the top of the page you will see the page number this is value number two, 22 sorry the seer the page number 493 the seer at tabari and this is a very well known islamic website all right miracle miraculous book miraculous what you can say i mean no comment do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Share with us some certain, 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 certain miracles? Additional to the, uh, the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone. <laughs> from the backbone. And then the Muslim, they made articles. I saw a video of a bunch of Muslim kids without saying which channel. Uh, the guy, he said, uh, the word solb, brother, according to the dictionary, means uh, the male member. Uh, the word solb means male member. Really? <laughs> according to the dictionary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Let us see this guy. We will call him one more time. If you don't answer, we will block him. Okay, call decline, then we will send you to Allah free shipping and handling. Take a hike. Do we have any brave, proud about the certain ten 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 miracles of the Quran? Uh, my friend don't text me don't call me if you are not a Muslim I will block you literally all right do we have any Muslim uh, Okay. You know, uh, uh, Muslim they send they send to me uh, supposedly their anger. You know, when a Muslim he is angry, he have to express his anger. And uh, when a person is very angry. He talk about everything except the topic which made him angry. Like as an example, we talk about the Quran speaking about uh, the sperm coming from the ribs of the women. What the Muslim will answer? The Trinity, the Trinity is not uh, true. This have to do with the sperm coming from the backbone. Who is talking even about the Trinity? And you believe in Trinity or not, who care? This is your business. Hmm? Any Abdul? Anyone? Nobody? I like quiet Muslims when they are unable. 
Uh, here we have uh, uh, what her name, this uh, female, her name is Darax. Uh, it is Darax, she sent me in, in a text message and she is admitting that she is half a brain. Oh, okay. Well, and she is saying that her as a half a brain, she has something to say. Okay, what is that? Let me show you what she sent me. This is the female, her name is Darax. The one who called before, we have her recorded and people die laughing at her answers. Keep whining, you stupid hypocrite. Eh? Is that me who told the people not to do piss in the direction of the Kaaba and he was pissing as Muhammad was doing that? Is that me who told the Muslims not to do boom boom when your wife she have period and he was doing it? Is it me who told the Muslims to have four wives and he can have unlimited? Is it me who told the Muslims, you know, if you take oath, keep it, and then he broke the oath every day? Is it me? Is it me? So look what she's saying. Hypocrite, your Bible full of filth, fairy tales. Why don't you talk about how your God tell women to shut up in 1 Timothy 2.12? Or how women are valued half a price of a man. <laughs> now, uh, the funny here, if I show the Mohammedan what they are rejecting from their book, they will die from what they just posted. I can't find you. You see, you are saying that it says there that the price of a woman the woman is a half a price of a woman, right? I will go to the verses and we will read. But what if I show you that this is in your book? What you will do? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? I find it always amazing. That Muhammadan are a bunch of fool when they try to attack Christianity. Because this is your religion, your prophet. He was a thief. He was trying to steal from the Jews their law. This is your stupid website. This is what? This is your stupid website. Fatwa number 78961. Oh, sorry. The fatwa number is 37. Sorry, 47399. Do you know what it says there? Do you know even what the title is? I hope this woman directs, she will read and she will laugh at herself because she just insulted her prophet. I will use Google translation, peace be upon him, so we can laugh. Translate to English. The wisdom of the fact that the blood money of a woman is half of the man. <laughs> <laughs> the question and this is fatwa number in the front of you 47399 and this is the date and this is your muslim website it says here like, hold on let me let me block this idiot we said a million times don't call me if you are not a muslim and this guy, he keep calling me. Idiot. All right. We go back to the website. Question. 
why is the blood of money of a of a of a murder man twice much of the women? Here they will show you that the prophet said, and the <laughs> and the hadith said, and the scholar they said, and all of them they agree that the price of a man is a twice the price of a woman. Then if we go to the Bible, this is not about price. So this is stupid, foolish, mad person who's trying to attack Christianity. They do not know what they have in their book. They don't. They have big mouth and they are desperate to attack us. At the same time, isn't your prophet, not only he copied from the books of the Jews, but he copied wrong. Isn't your silly prophet, he put his hands on the Torah and he says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. They brought him the whole Torah and he took an oath, swearing by it, saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So every silly idiot who make fun of the book, of our books, is making fun of his prophet. And by the way, this hadith, Muhammad, he mentioned when he was reading the same chapter or the same book. The same exact book, but when they when he put his hand on the in the book he put the in the in the Torah, but when they were reading, they were reading from the same book you mentioned, the racks, the fool. Now, she said too that in Timothy, First Timothy, uh, second twelve, it says. Uh, that the women, uh, the women is not permitted to teach over the men. Are you Muslim women permitted to teach over the men? And there is a reason for that. You know, many of you heard me many times saying that I don't agree with our sister. What her name? I forgot her name. The one in in, in England, uh, Hatun, to go and to argue with men because. Men can disrespect a woman. Men can dishonor a woman. Men, they can adva take advantage and even can assault a woman because they are cowards. And this is what happened to her last time she was in the park. A coward, Muhammad, and he assaulted her. So everything happened for a reason. But however, in, in case you do not know, in our book, we have books, it's called the Book of Judges. In our book, we have books speak about women who they are prophet. Not only that, the same letters you are talking about, the letters between the disciple of Jesus, the same letters are speaking about women who prophesy. So you are mistakenly understanding Christianity. Women, they can teach, they can preach, but everyone have a place. So women should be teaching women it's better and men should be teaching men it's better but in islam women they cannot teach period and there's not a single woman she is a prophet period and there's no single woman she's a judge period actually a woman she cannot be a witness in the court period the only time a woman she can be a witness in the court is in the case of borrowing money A woman, she cannot be a witness in the case of a murder. Anything have to do with capital punishment. Anything, like in some, some Islamic sect, they allowed the Muslim women to be uh, a witness in the case of giving birth because women, she can go inside the room. A man, he cannot to witness that this a child is born of this woman. So they added this to the Quran, but the Quran is so specific that women, they can only be a witness in the case of borrowing money, 
and two women of your choice. This is in case there is no two men. So not only you cannot teach, not only you cannot preach, not only you are half a brain according to the hadith, you are even according to the Quran. And actually Muhammad himself, he used the same phrase in the Quran to prove to the Muslim women that she is suffering from deficient in her, in her mind, in her brain. So, if there is no two men to witness borrowing money, then one man at least, which means even if a million women are there, is not, is not good. That's not a, no, there's no proof. You have to have at least one man. And then two women which you approve, not only any women. Why? If a woman of them, she err, the other one, she remind her. Why the man will not err? Because according to your religion, the man is a smart, the woman is dummy. So those angry Abdul who do not know what to say, they accuse us of things they have. Isn't it funny? They accuse us of things they have. And the verses she is quoting from the Bible, this is about devoting a person for the temple. This is not about price of a person. And this is where Muhammad, he took even the word zakat. If you ask Muslims, well, how much is the zakat? They don't know. It's up to wherever. Why? Because they stole it from the Jews. Zakat is a Hebrew word. It's about paying 10% of your income to the temple or to the church. It's a stoning thing from us. Who is next? Do we have any Muhammadan have anything to say? Anyone? Until now, we are waiting for any Muhammadan to show us any certain ten 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 tefik miracles. You see, this is actually scientific in front of us. According to science, actually, women, they have better memory. Women, they have better memory, especially when it's come to describe things. Or what happened? You ask a man what you ate for lunch, you don't remember. You ask a woman, you take her to a wedding party. She come back. You ask her who was there, she will count one by one. She will tell you what they were wearing. She will tell you what the rings in their, in their hands. She will tell you the color of every woman's purse, the shoes. A man, he can't even remember what he was wearing in the same day. So how in the world, the man he will remember and the women she will not? I remember once I visited a cousin of mine. I don't, you know, I hear to, I, I hate, I hate to wear suits. You know, suit is my enemy, you know. So anyway, I was like, uh, oh, uh, I went to visit her, you know. Uh, and then I went a year after or something like that. And then she said to me, you, you, you did not buy new clothes? You remember what I was wearing? I, wear, I was wearing the same clothes a year after. But I don't wear those things. Or those kind of clothes unless i have a very 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 something i have to you know i have to wear suit uh, suit is my enemy so now she's uh, saying well, this guy is cheap you know he's wearing the same, same suit a year after she remember it i don't remember what i was wearing there she remember And you, you can go right now, actually, in front of you, as long as we are talking about science. We can show you a scientific study. Let's see.
I just search, you know, this is not, uh, this is not like uh, I'm searching for a Christian website. Women do have a better memory, memory than men, you know, says the studies. It is official. It is what? It is official. Do you see it? And as long it's official that women, they have better memory than men, then it is official that Allah is stupid. It is official. Any, uh, any Mohammedan? By the way, I know I want to say thank you for those who were worrying because I got a little bit sick. Uh, it was nothing really. I, I, I think I had a headache. I took an aspirin and it looked like this aspirin caused me to throw up. That's all. And then after that, I received like a hundred emails saying, because EP, are you okay? And I was like, okay, guys, I'm okay. You know, it's my fault. I should not mention it. So I apologize for that. But this reminds me of the prophet science when he says, give him honey. Uh, you remember the hadith? When the guy, he came to Muhammad and he says, my brother is sick, horribly sick. He said to him, give him money. The guy, he came after a few days. He says, get him more sick. He said, give him money. He said, he's getting more sick. He said, give him money. He said, but he, you know, and then he came and he said, he's getting really sick. It's like almost dying, you know, maybe he have diabetes, you know. <laughs> And then Muhammad, he screamed at him and he says, Allah, he told the truth and your brother Billy is lying. And according to the hadith, the guy, his brother, he was healed. Why? Because he never come back. Well, how he will come back? He is convinced that Muhammad is a scam. Have you ever heard of a scientific prophet receiving inspiration from Allah, giving medicine to a person without even asking him what is the problem. I mean, if you are Jesus, you do not need medicine. You can say, oh, you are healed. Okay, here we go. But this is Muhammad. He cannot do what Jesus do. He is a fraud. Your brother, Billy, is lying? Are you sure, Muhammad? The abodomen of your brother told a lie. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking to open a clinic. <laughs> Anyone come to me, I'll give you money. <laughs> One recipe for all, all everybody, give him money. He did not ask him what is the problem. Let him come to me. Let me see what's happening. Let, let, let us say Muhammad maybe have some expertise, you know, maybe. But he didn't even know what is the problem. You, how you give him honey right away? Maybe he have a diabetes, you know. Honey. Yeah. Yeah, and not to forget the miracle too about the nagla seed, you know. Nagla see the brother. This is what the, this is what he what uh, what his name Mimi Hijab he is selling in his video each time he opened his video. He says, Brother sisters, buy this hadith. You know, okay. Unbelievable. Scam. So the Prophet said, the black seed, the nigla seed is a remedy for every disease except death. That's it. Do you have cancer? Take nigla seed. Do you have co corona? Co corona? Take necklace seed. Do you have diabetes? Take necklace seed. Now, for sure, by the way, I mean, all food have benefit, any food, and any seed have benefit. I mean, there's a, maybe some of them, they are not eatable, poison, but seed in general, they are useful for sure. You know, walnut or anything is useful, have many benefit. But the liar, he learned, that this, this guy, Muhammad, he hears something, he stick with it.
I see some uh, some people speaking to me in Indonesian. Yeah, because I speak Indonesian very well. Do we have any Indonesian stars? Those who charge five thousand dollars an hour to make a speech? Hey, Indonesian Muslims, if you know any of your stars, look at those stars. I mean, where they where, where they get those people from? <clears throat> If those ones who will teach you about God, what kind of God this God is? Those people cannot even read the book of their God. Look at this guy. Habibi. Habibi, if you want to have a, a four women, Habibi, it's okay, Habibi. But if you want to have five women, Habibi, you have divorced one of Habibi. Look at the wisdom and look at that. Look how deep the knowledge is. That's it. This Abdul in the left, he cannot, he do not know what to do. He have only four wives now. He want to have five. He was going to make an error. But the stud corrected him. He says, brother, you cannot do that. First, you have to give me five hundred dollars to give you the, the consultation, okay? Because I'm like Muhammad. If you want to talk to me in private, you have to pay me first. You cannot do that. You have to divorce one of them, and then you can replace her bed with her, a new one. Look how deep. Very strong religion. I mean, actually, no. Hold on. I saw a video. Uh, let me show you this one. This one is a new. I just, it like when I open today before I go. Uh, I was searching for Quran miracle, and I find this video. Like, what the heck is that? This is Sheikh Asim. Guys, you will not believe even what the title is. Let me let me show you the title. Can a homosexual man get married if he is afraid he won't satisfy his wife sexually? Can you read the title? Can a homosexual man get married? If the guy is a homosexual, what are you talking about? <laughs> get married from who? <laughs> what wife? <laughs> and then I said to myself, maybe the title is wrong. And this is his official website uh, channel, you know, it's not... Uh, it's not a mistake. I mean, the title does not make sense. What the heck is that? You see, 518,000 subscribers. I, I thought maybe somebody is joking using his, uh, you know, like uh, image of him or something. Because people do it, you know. Somebody don't like him. But then when I, I, I click at the video, it's true. This guy is talking and that's why he turned off the, the comment. Look how brave they are. And then you, you listen to the video. This is true. This is the topic. And it's not really wrong. I mean, it's not, the title is not wrong. What? Abdul, what's heads up? That guy is a homosexual. Are you gonna hear it? Hold on, hold on. It's my it's my fault. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, we will play it from the beginning. Hold on. Oh. A homosexual who is unable to satisfy his wife, would it be permissible for him to get married? The answer is, if he's impotent, meaning that he's unable to fulfill his wife's desires due to his impotency and incapacity and ability to do so, in this case, he's not permitted to get married unless he gives <laughs> the family he's getting married to, a heads up. So before they proceed 
he would go and say, listen, guys, this person uh, uh, proposing is impotent, cannot fulfill his... I mean, this is the best comedy. I, I don't know what to say. Honestly, when I saw the, the title first, I said, maybe there's a mistake. Can a homosexual man get married if he's afraid he won't satisfy his wife sexually? Secondly, what impotent have to do with satisfying the women sexually? Do you know what impotent mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I love the Chinese when they say they left as a donkey never come back as a horse I know what they are talking about this is serious do we have any Abdul anyone and by the way you can find the, you can find the video yourself and in case you do not believe me this is what here we go. Can um, a homosexual man get married if he is afraid he won't satisfy his wife sexually? What the heck is that? No comment. No comment. Uh, Muhammad was impotent. Obviously. But don't you think if we give him this guy Nagla Seed, that will solve the problem? Your prophet, he says, this Nagla Seed can solve every problem. So let's say the guy, he is impotent and he is homosexual. We give him Nagla Seed. He woke up in the morning, he is a different person. <laughs> what a religion. Do we have any Mohammedan? <laughs> I, I have a guy, he sent me, why you debate this guy, Fufu, Mumu, Susu, Abdul? Uh, your, your dummies, they don't even dare to let me call them. That is the, that is the reality. Face it. You are terrified. They are really terrified. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? So who is a Muhammadan would like to tell us about the scientific facts in the Quran? Who want to tell us? Why suddenly the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they have nothing to say? Simply because all those scientific facts are not facts. It is a scam. And every one of them, not only it is false, it is the opposite which means they try to make what is error against science, try to make it scientific. And that's why I'm challenging any Muhammadan. Let us make it simple. If you call me, I want you to choose for me the most powerful, the most powerful thing you think in the Quran is exist. have to do with the miracles, the scientific miracles, as your Muhammadan claim. I don't want to choose just a normal one. I want you to choose the most amazing thing. If there's any, is amazing. Anyone? Any Muhammadan? We just showed you an example. We searched for the verse, which is the first chapter Muhammad he received. And hear how, you know, and look, you know, look how they even they lie in translation. Look, Nasiya, Nasiya, they changed the translation from forelock to the front of his head. And even the verse says, we will grab him from his hair. They lie in the translation. 
We just show you the other article. It's saying his forelock. It's just to fabricate things. Um, what what about fresh water cannot mix with salt water? That's a good one, Nick. Uh, C Y K A. Wait, guys, why you are using your name like a like a license plate? What is that? You guys are driving me. You know, are you taking advantage of me because I'm an Arab and my English is bad? It's okay. It's okay. I will forgive. I will forgive your loop, the brain loop you have. So here we have our friend here is asking. What about the salt water and the fresh water uh, uh, cannot mix? Well, I advise you to go to the kitchen right now and get two cups of water. One has salt and one has no salt. And mix them together. Let's see if they will mix or not. <laughs> and actually, this one is alone is proving that the Quran is stupid. Actually, let me search for this one. We talk, we spoke about it many times before, but this is one of the stupid, silly, proving the Quran that the Quran is made by a fraud. Uh, I will search for Quran miracle. Hold on, give me a second. Quran miracle, salt, and uh, water, and. Okay, we search in private Google, peace be upon him. And then you will find the brother, tons of videos. Look at this one. And here we'll show you, they will show you two water, uh, you know, when the two, two body of water meet. And you will see the comment, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Look, brother, the Quran, the fresh water and uh, salty water never mix. And look how many websites look look. Let me click at this one here. Because the Quran, what the Quran is saying, that the fresh water and salt water, they never mix because the stupid Muhammad, you think that salty water and fresh water, they are two body of water, they never touch each other. Why? Because there's a barrier between them, which is land. So here the question is, describing water barrier in the miracle, is miracle in the, of the Quran. Here it says, uh, the question, the Quran states something about two seas, oceans, that uh, are mixing, but in fact, there has not has been stated before. In the existence of the Quran, the drinkable sweet water uh, is light, blah, 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 blah. And you know, he's just talking about science. Okay, the answer now. <clears throat> All perfect praise be to Allah, blah, 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 blah. I testify, blah, blah, blah. Okay, before investigation, investigation the Quran, and the uh, proceed in, uh, and miracle subject in a water barrier in meeting water mass without mixing transgressing invisible barrier between them we should first ask ourselves the question in the statement of aristotle true of aristotle true okay uh, it's in itself was he really speaking about uh, the water barrier okay by going back to the entire statement, blah, 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 okay. In order to realize the truth, and you should refer to the full statement, okay. And then you can read, because you can, anytime you can freeze the video, and you can read the whole thing, as we, we, see, we show you everything. And you can search for the article, by the way, here we go. Uh, but we want to just go to the, to the cheese. You may find this be refer, referring second part of the book, okay. Uh, there's a book here. What is the answer? Let me let me show you the answer. How we get them busted right away. The Quran, because it is a fraud, claiming that salty water and fresh water never mix. The scientists don't say that fresh water and salty water don't mix. That is a lie, absolute lie. They mix every second. Uh, what the Quran said that Allah he created a barrier which is made from rocks between them which is a clear proof that Muhammad 
is a fraud. And if there is any Muslim would like to call, uh, call and talk about it, so we can even love more. <clears throat> Yeah, this website is really horrible, hold on. But we need it because it has the two, English and Arabic, in the same time. All right. Chapter 25, verse number 53, it says, It is he who let, this is the Muslim translation, I'm not, uh, I'm not translating. It is he who let free the two seas. First of all, the fresh water is not a sea. So this is the first mistake. Secondly, between two brackets, they say kinds of water. That's false. Seas is seas. One is blatable and, and sweet, and the other one is salt and bitter. And he has set a barrier and complete partition between them. Do you see the word complete? This is destroy all the false claims they say about they are not mixing. It's complete partition. There's a barrier. Then you go and read the interpretation. You will see the interpretation saying that the barrier, which is in Arabic, barzakh, different verse in the Quran let us go there Barzakh is a dry land and it's not an Arabic word by the way the word Barzakh uh, chapter 55 the same story because the Quran repeat itself always chapter 55 verse number 19 it is he who has let, let loosed the two seas Okay, again, two seas, which means the salt water and the fresh water sea. Meeting together, between them there is a barrier which none of them can transgress. You see, it's clear, none of them can transgress. If we go and read the interpretation, we will see right away that Allah, he put the word barzakh in Arabic, mean a dry land. Let us go to the interpretation, so the Muhammadan, they will not say, ah, it, is, uh, it doesn't say that, ZB. You know, you know that. It doesn't say that, ZB. Okay, the seer it make a theor. It does say. Does it say that, ZB? <laughs> it doesn't say that, ZB. Why number? Let us close some pages. Too many pages here. <laughs> so. Chapter 55, verse number 20. 55. Verse number 20, uh, 25. 20 to 25, let's read. Actually, if we start from uh, 14, even things get more horrible and more stupid. But we will skip, you know. Let us go down. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, he let, uh, let them lose. Ibn Abbas' statement says, okay. Ibn Zayyad said, he prevent them from meeting by dividing barrier. He placed between them to separate them. The two seas are fresh and salty water. The former coming form of running river. Okay. So, Allah will not let the river, water, go to the sea. They will never let them meet. Let us read carefully again, because maybe this is not what he meant. He placed a barrier between them, between those two types of water, so that they do not transgress upon each other. Would spoil the, you know, like the salty water would spoil the nature or of the fresh water. But how he, what barrier is that? Let us see. Still until now, 
uh, we did not find uh, the answer. Let us see. Okay. We will go to Ibn Kathir and we will read the same but different verse now. Uh, instead of this one, we will read. <coughs> Let's close this one. Close this one. Right. Uh, This is chapter 55, verse number 20. We need chapter 25. Let us go to 25. All right. If there's any Muslim want to say anything before we show you the shocking stupidity of the Quran, any any, any Muslim want to say anything before we go? Before we read the interpretation, how shocking it is to be that all those videos and all those articles are made of fabrication. The Quran says the opposite, which is scientific error. Let us go. No Muslim. Read with me, uh, Muhammad. The same thing the Quran mentioned it more than one time. The same thing. The barrier mean a dry land. Do you see it? Let me zoom in in case you are blind. And this is Ibn Kathir. Why it says a dry land? Because this is what Barzakh mean. Barzakh. Even the verse after it says, Wahijran Mahjura. Even a rock is divided by rocks. So according to the Quran, Allah, he placed between the salty water, he set a barrier, complete partition between them. Meaning between the sweet and water and salty water. Meaning a barrier, mean a partition, which is a dry land. And complete partition means a barrier to prevent one of them of reaching the other. But all of us, we knew that rivers, which is a fresh water, and most of them end in the ocean. So according to the Quran, fresh water never meet with salty water. So imagine what is stupid in the Quran. The Muslims, they try to make it scientific, amazing discovery. When the Quran is saying something stupid, can you believe it? Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? So why the why the Muslims lie and they make this as a scientific miracle when in the fact it's done scientific error? Do you see how they flip things upside down? No dignity. In other words, you need to ask yourself, what kind of belief need liars to make it look true? What kind of belief is defended by liars? Any Muhammadan want to show me something scientifically true? What the language is in Jil, Arabic or Aramaic? In Jil, neither Arabic, neither, Ara, neither, neither Aramaic. In Jil is a Greek word. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? The Muslims, they say that Isa was sent to the children of Israel. Okay. And the Quran says that Allah will never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people. Okay. So why he sent a book? In Greek.
why Allah he chose the name which is used in the Greek language for the Bible. As long the name is in Greek, that's mean the book he is talking about is a Greek Bible. And we knew that the original Bible written in three languages, three major languages, but there's other actually, you know, like uh, uh, the, the Ethiopian, they have their language and uh, Aramaic, there's two uh, form of Aramaic, like the ancient and the newer one, etc. So, and the Greek language. So Muhammad, he used the word Injil, which is proving again that Muhammad is a fraud. For he is speaking against his religion. If Allah will never send a book except in the tongue of his people, so why the book of Jesus called Injil? No answer. Secondly, if Allah will never send a messenger except in the tongue of the people, how Muhammad then is a messenger for Bangladesh or Indonesia? And look, the verse here for the first time make, is saying something makes sense, at least, you know. Why? In order to make it clear for them. So Allah will not send a message except in your language. And he will not send a messenger unless he is from the people of that language. So how the Arabic will be the language of Allah for all nations? What happened? Any Muhammadan? Did you notice until now we did not get one Abdul to prove us wrong? That the Quran is a laughable book? There's no scientific miracle as they claim. And notice, I'm not even going after the stupid mistakes in the Quran. I'm just refuting their stupid lies. One of the funny miracles in the Quran, the Muslim they say, okay, how you can explain to me that Allah, he spoke about the story of Solomon. Okay. And he said that the female ant, she spoke to the other ant, and she said to them to hide. Okay. And said that the infant discovery proved that the one who, the guard, she is a female. Wow. The Quran says female ants. Abdul, in Arabic, we don't have a male ant. All individual ants, we call them Namla. <laughs> we don't look if they have balls or not, trust me. <laughs> so, I mean, look at the stupidity. And your brother, how the Quran knew that the guard is a female, like Abdul, listen, in Arabic, all of them, we call them Namla. We don't look at their balls. Trust me, we don't. All right? No, it says Namla. Abdul, okay, can you tell me what the word male Namla is in Arabic? Show me the dictionary. <laughs> Secondly, I mean, the story here is the most stupid. This one you want to prove to me that this a Quran have science? Okay, hold on. Let us focus carefully. So, Sulaiman or Solomon, he arrived to the valley of the ants. <laughs> Is valley of the ants. Those ants live only in that valley? Mean. I thought they are all over. So Suleiman never saw an ant before. Until he arrived to the valley of ants. Brother, millions of ants, brother. Millions. And then one of the ants said, Do you see the word said? In Arabic it says call it. Call it. Huh? Look at that, huh? Call it. But ants don't talk. I mean, they communicate, yes. But here it says, call it. Which means she said something from her lips. But ants don't talk by using their mouth. Ants, they communicate by chemical or vibration. So if the ant, she vibrate or use chemical to warn her friends, 
Oh, Suleiman, he heard her speech. <laughs> Even your tr stupid translation said he was amused at her speech. But she is not talking. Either they make chemical or they make vibration. That's it. There's no third miss. Ants actually are deaf and they are mute. They don't hear sound. What do you mean he heard her speech? The talking ant, the talking ant. And then if we go and read the Legion of the Jews, we will find that this is all coming from the Jewish stories for their kids. And what make it more funny, if you go just uh, the, the verse number 16, it says that Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. Okay. Dude, what's wrong with you? Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. How he understand the language of the ants? Well, read it. And Suleiman narrated knowledge of the Dawood, okay, and he said, O oh, mankind, we have been taught the language of birds. So Solomon, he learned the language of birds, he starts speaking to the ants. <laughs> Solve the problem now. Any Abdul? You know, Spider-Man is way better. What this guy keeps saying in the Indonesian language? My friend, don't uh, spam the chat, uh, uh, Silbanji or, I don't know, I think you're a Christian, right? There's no need to repeat the same thing, my friend. Use your brain, say something different. Talk to the ant, let the ant talk to you. You know, imagine yourself, you have an ant in front of you. Allah, he taught you the language of the birds. Oh, ant, what? Oh, okay, let me respond to you. What the heck? So Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, and he is understanding the ants. Wow. That is astonishing. I mean, the story alone here is, is just a joke. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, boy. What we will read? Uh, do you remember when we, you know, we, we, we try to understand that the army of Suleiman, if we try to read this, about, about this, chapter 27, verse number 17, hold on. Just, you know, for education. And now the Muslim got upset. You know? The Muslim, the Muhammad, and they will get upset. Why are you reading this? You know, like, why is it not? Is it the Quran is a book of science? Is it this is a book of science? Here we go. 27, 17 in front of you. Okay. And we go to Ibn Kathir. Brother. All right, let's go here. Ah. Ah, okay, and they were gathered before Suleiman, his host, the jinn and men and bird. So the army of Suleiman have a three brigade, three major brigade. Genie, human, chickens. Okay. Suleiman troops, jinn, men, birds, were gathered together. He rode with them in display of mighty and glory, with people marching behind him, followed by the genie, and the bird are flying above their head. When it was hot, they would shade 
him my friend I just to let you know birds flying in the top of you by millions they will not only shade they will shit literally anyway and then we continue excuse my language yeah but i wanna you know uh, i wanna i wanna try to find for you something more exciting about Suleiman. uh How big is the army of Suleiman? <laughs> science, brother, science. Pure science. Quran, Muhammad, pure science. Pure, pure science, brother. From the beginning to the end. Any, any Muhammadan want to tell us how big was the army of Suleiman? Huh? Yeah. Who we have any Muslim? I don't know why. Why it's so dry? See, we made a mistake by saying we challenge you. Those they are scared already. Without challenge. <laughs> How big the army of Suleiman Muslims? <clears throat> is it three? Is it uh, it's true like it is thousands of miles long? Is it true that he carry all his army on the top of a flying carpet? Is it true that he have a ring he control the genies and the world? Is it true that Suleiman he dies standing holding a stake? <laughs> Say as a brother. And nobody noticed that he is dead for a year, brother? <laughs> and why nobody noticed, brother? Because, brother, he was holding his stick, his staff. Uh, but isn't it obvious that he is dead? Don't you think like after, if you talk, let us say you, you, you die standing. I'm not going to question that because Allah said that. Who dare to question? <laughs> Your neck will fly with the peaceful religion. Unless you are a Christian prince, you don't care for your neck. Then, uh, Suleiman, brother, he was holding a stick. But remember, Suleiman, when he hold the stick, he stand up. And then suddenly, Allah, he sent Zibril. And Zibril took his soul. And he died standing, brother. But Allah, after he took the soul of, of, of Solomon, he, oh, oops, what I did? Like, what the heck? I don't want the genie to know now because they did not finish the work. So Allah, he made them not to notice that he is dead because he was holding the stick standing. So like they go to his room, the ministers, Assalamu alaikum, big Abdul Suleiman. Suleiman, don't answer. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, he don't answer. Salam alaikum. Suleiman was not answering. The ministers, uh, one after one, they say, Assalamu alaikum, sir, king. No answer. But this is very normal because we Middle Eastern, we answer nothing. They call the phone company, they don't answer. They call the electric company, they don't answer. They call upon Allah, he don't answer. And because those genies and those are human there, they are Middle Eastern like me, it was normal. He don't answer. Very natural of us. The whole nation don't answer anything. Allah don't answer us, Anjad don't answer us, King don't answer, government don't answer, police don't answer. It's normal. 9-1 don't answer. 
Ambulance don't answer. Nobody answered there. So because of this habit, we as Middle Eastern and Arab, nobody noticed that Suleiman is dead, brother. But then the wives, they came in. And the wives, uh, hey, hello, honey. You like, you want to eat? You don't answer. Okay. It's normal because husbands in the Middle East, they don't answer too. So they leave. They come second day. Hey, honey, do you want to take a shower, eat breakfast, lunch, something? You don't answer. The wives, they never suspect anything about him because it was normal. He don't answer. Middle Eastern men, they don't answer. You know? Then, brother, it's a true story, by the way. So, it was like month after month after month, and Solomon, he don't answer. Now, if we ask Dr. Zach and Nike, he can explain it better than me for sure. But sadly, he is not here. Prince and Prince, I told you one thing, then. I'm watching you. Hey, Zach and Nike, how in the world you were able to join us without calling me? Prince and Prince, first of all, I'm watching you, Terry Cloutie. Hey, Zach and Nike, hold on. How you watch me? Are you hacking my computer? Prince and Prince, I'm watching you. Okay, okay we got it. You are watching me. Now, answer this. How in the world so the man he dies standing for a year and nobody noticed that he's dead? It's very simple. As an example, I went to make a lecturer and I went back then. And I made a big lecturer. And then I finished the lecturer. And then I left the lecturer. And nobody noticed that I'm done with the lecturer. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's happened because in Pakistan, you know, hashish, Taliban, hashish, drugs, you know, morphine, cocaine, you know. No, everybody's high, so nobody is even watching you. Prince and Prince, respect yourself. Nobody noticed me because simply they are impressed with the word of Allah. Oh, okay. But this is a king, you know. He has, uh, you know, they are building. They were asking him questions. He have soldiers. He have ministers. He have a lot of wives. How did nobody notice that he is dead? It's very simple. As an example, how many times you ask Muslim a question and they never answer? Uh, many. Actually, all of them, including you. Exactly. So it's very normal. We Muslim, we don't answer. And Suleiman, Prophet Suleiman is a Muslim. I'm really, really never thought about this before. That's really above my grade. Exactly, Griffith. And listen carefully. Secondly, this is totally proven to be scientifically. Mm -hmm. If you have a sick, we have scientists, they study this sick. And it take about 12 months and 7 days and 7 minutes to eat it. Yeah, 12 months and 7 days and 7 minutes. So there's no second? It's the second. Oh, I was wondering. No. Okay. So the study says that it take 12 months and 7... Why, why is it not 7 months and 7 minutes and 7 seconds? You know? Good time, Prince. Allah, he is all wise. And Allah decides one year. Oh, okay. And nobody noticed. And nobody noticed. Okay, nobody noticed that Suleiman is dead, but nobody noticed the termite eating the steak. Prince and Prince. First of all, the termite is invisible. They're what? Invisible. Uh, what, what? They are invisible. Invisible. Ah. Termite and they are invisible. Exactly. Because they were eating the steak from inside. Oh, man, that's deep. From inside. Yes, exactly. So from outside, it looks fine. Oh, that's deep. So, and where do you get this opinion from? It's my opinion. Oh. Okay, Zachary, now you can hang up now. Prince and Prince, you hang up first. Okay, now you hang up. Prince and Prince, if I hang up, you will say I run away from you. Okay. Yeah, okay, I will hang up. Prince and Prince, I will tell everybody that you hang up in my face. And you are a coward. Like, what the heck? I told you hang up. You said you said uh, uh, hang, uh, if I hang up on you, you will say that uh, what's wrong with you, Zach and Come on, just leave us alone. Because we are enjoying the movie of the stick of cinema. Zachar? 
And Muhammad, and if you don't believe me, this is what happened. We can go right now to Ibn Kathir, chapter 34, 14. Zach, are you there? I think he's gone. Thank God he's gone. Chris and Prince, I'm here. What the heck? You scare me, man. I thought you hang up. Okay, Zach, read with me, please. It says here, uh, Allah tell us how Solomon, peace be upon him, died, and how Allah concealed his death from the jinn who were subjugated to him in hard labor. Look, hard labor. Look at this genie. What can you know? He remained leaning on his stake, which was his staff, as Ibn Abbas, may Allah pleased with him, and Mujahid, and Hassan, and others, and Qutada Sayyid. He stayed like that for a long time, nearly a year, brother. And when the creature of the earth, which was kind of warm, ate through his stick. Brother, all the science is here. All of it. Who can deny that termite eat sticks of kings? No one. They went, they attack his stick, and then when they ate his stick, he fell down on the ground, which was kind of warm, ate through the stick, it became weak and fell to the ground. Then then and only then, brother, then and only then, it become apparent that he had died long time ago. Brother, a great example of the certain tentific miracles of the Quran. Who can beat this story? Hmm. Any Muhammadan? Who sent those worms? Allah, He sent the worms. You see, Allah is like those worms, they were like this, the, the, the sand the clock, you know, sand the clock. So Allah, He said to Himself, Okay, I don't want to, I don't want them to know, like, I don't want to wake up after a, 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 a year to make Him fall down. So I will send termite, huh? and uh, he calculated how many termite they will make the stick collapse uh, one in uh, one year. So he sent, let us say, 100 termite to do the job. Took them a year. Hmm. True story. Very certain scientific. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? I see a lot of angry Muhammadan in the chat, but I know, our friend, we are here to show you what, you are angry because what you see is stupid, I understand, but this is not our fault. It's not my fault. Nothing informed them, the Quran says, of his death, except the little worms in the earth, which kept slowly groaning away at his stick. This is why I decided to buy the stick. You know, in Arabic, we use the word, we say aluminium. In English, they say it in a different way. So I bought a stick made from aluminium, not aluminium. And now I want to know how the termite of Allah will eat my stick. <laughs> I will go live on air and I will stay alive on air for the coming centuries. 
and I want to see how the termite of Allah will make Muslims know, even notice that I am dead long time ago. They will not know this because we don't answer. Number one. Number two, the Middle East, and when we die, nothing eat us. You see the termite, did you notice? The termite, they are eating the stick. They don't eat the guy. Man, because we don't taste good. Abdul, the guy is dead for a year. And as I know, there's a lot of worms will eat the guy. And if you leave a dead guy for a few days in his bedroom, the worm will eat him up. You do not need to bring them. They are inside him. Unbelievable. Miracle. This is an unbelievable book, brother. Who can be this book? Anyway, I think we have enough. Uh, sadly, we could not find one Abdul, but I'm happy that we have those two ex-Muslims, you know, the one from Holland, the other one, he live in Germany, but both of them from Islamic countries. I'm happy for them that they left Islam. Uh, we gained their speaking to them today. I'm very happy. And uh, the, 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 uh, the unique part of one of them, the one who spoke the second one, when he said he left Islam because of a dog. Isn't it, this is amazing? Isn't it, this is amazing? When this guy, he said that he left Islam because of a dog and he have the dog there. This is telling you that if a person decide to see the truth, He can find it right away. A dog changed the life of this person. Because he asked himself, why in the world this religion is against dogs? Why dogs are satanic? Why dogs? What's wrong? This God, this funny God, Allah, he have a stupid prophet. He cannot keep his mouth shut. And he say the most stupid things. How in the world do you convince anyone that the dog is the enemy of God? And angels, they will not enter a house, have dogs. What's the problem? Obviously, Muhammad, he noticed that dogs, they can sense his evil. You know, dogs, they have different kind of sensation, not like us as a human. They can sense energy, bad energy. So the coward Muhammad, he noticed that dogs hate him. So he wanted to kill all dogs. And he spoke awful against them. But all of us, we knew, that dogs are the best friend. Maybe now they are not important as before for us in our new civil civilization. But in certain time, my friend, dogs is a necessity. It's very important. And I assure you that you can trust a dog you feed, but you might not trust a human you did feed. A human can bite you, your dog will not, generally speaking. Your brother can bite you. Your family can betray you. Your dog will die defending you. Speaking against dog and ordering to kill all dogs and claiming that the black dog is the devil, proving again the racism, and the stupidity of this man Muhammad. And this is why I say I'm very thankful that Muhammad is a person who never keep his mouth shut. The more he talk, the more he expose his stupidity. And this is the result of Muhammad. Hate against dogs. Why you wanna, I mean, 
even if a dog you know by the way even dogs who they are let us say vicious i mean it's an animal why why this animity against an animal especially that the majority of dogs are very useful You know, there's many people they can suffer from being alone, depression. Uh, they don't have anyone, you know. A dog can be a guardian, companion, uh, you know, something to make them feel like they, they have somebody around them. And there's tons of stories about amazing dogs saving lives. Number one, actually. A creature who help us to fight the drugs is dogs. If you go in any airport, it's a must to have dogs. Even dogs, they can, you know, they are using them now for med for, for medication, like to find who is sick. A dog, he can sense if you are sick. So why this hatred against dogs? Obviously, Muhammad is evil. Somebody is saying, did Muhammad order to kill all dogs? Yes, absolutely. When people start complaining about killing all dogs, Muhammad, he switch. He says, okay, keep the hunting, the guardian. Let me show you the reference. Say we are making things up. And then Muhammad, he became, as usual, you know, his superstition, he claimed that black dog specifically is evil. And Muhammad, he said, if not dogs or nation like us, you know, uh, let us see. Yeah, all those story, all those stories about uh, killing dogs. But let us let us go to something specific. Here, Muhammad is saying, if you hear the dog barking. Or a donkey brain in the night seek refuge from Allah from them for surely they all have seen what you have seen not hmm. okay continue uh, Malik related to Nafi etc that the messenger of Allah he grant to kill the dogs the order dogs to be killed, all dogs. You see? Then people they start complaining because they need them. Then he says, Okay, don't kill the dogs for hunting or for your shepherd. You ask yourself why? What a hateful person. What a hateful person. He's not only anti-human creature, this Muhammad, he's anti-animals. Even lizard, he made them enemy of Muslims. This is why he said, if you kill a lizard from the first hit, Allah will give you a reward, etc., etc. If you kill him from the second hit, you will give him the half reward. If you kill him from the third hit, you have the lowest. But then you ask yourself, okay, why why killing the, the, the lizard is so important? Uh, according to Muhammad, the lizard he tried to burn Solomon, sorry, Abraham. Let me find the hadith. Madness.
the Prophet of Allah, he ordered to kill the lizard. In case you do not know, lizards are very useful animals. They control the insect spread. They are very useful for farmers in your garden. If you see a lizard in your garden, never kill it. You will clean your garden from all harmful insect who can eat your tomato or your vegetables or even your flowers. This is what lizard they do. They are harmless. Why we need to kill it? Because this lizard, all the animals, they brought water to stop the burning of the Prophet Abraham, except the lizard brother. And then Muhammad, he come with something even more funny. He claimed that lizard are Jews. How he, how he knew that the lizard are Jews? Look at this. <laughs> the, the lizard are Jews. Allah, he cursed them, he made them lizard. I mean, what's wrong with this man? What is the logic? I forgot we cannot talk about logic when we speak about Muhammad. And then the story that all the animals they brought water. Look at this hadith here. Whoever kills a house lizard with one blow have such and such reward you see the outlaw sign in the old movies when a cowboy he go after some outlaw criminal that is mr. lizard I saw a movie that Muslims are so peaceful they are not allowed to hurt even a spider well, the spider supposedly, because uh, Muhammad, he went inside the cave and he, the spider, he made a whip and this is why they respect the spider. Not because they are peaceful. So they don't kill the spider, but they kill a human. They behead a human. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are peaceful. Absolutely. Muhammad, he put nails in the eyes of people. He cut their hands. He cut their feet, he tortured them, and they are peaceful, brother. They don't kill a spider. Yeah, they kill dogs, human, women, men, children, but we don't kill a spider, brother. And we don't eat pork. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, let me try to find the hadith about this lizard. How evil he is. Brother, when the kuffar, they wanted to burn Abraham, all the animals in the jungle, they brought water. except Mr. Geigo. Geigo is the only one, or salamander, or lizard, whatever you call him, is the only one brother who was blowing wind at the fire. Why? Why, Mr. Geigo, you do that? 
How dare you? You are really disgusting. This is why Prophet of Allah, he waged jihad against Gaigo. Brothers and sisters, Gaigos is the enemies of Allah. So all the animals they brought water, is that including pigs? Oh, rats? All animals they brought uh, except Gaigo? That's deep. Uh, do we have any Muhammad? I want to say anything. This is all pure science, by the way, proving to be true. You no. Know? Uh, me myself, once I saw a, a, a house in fire. A fire department. They came. They are from one side, putting water. From the other side, there's like a thousand lizard, and they were blowing wind at the fire. <laughs> you know, I saw it with my own, uh, you know, the, you know the thing. And Joe Biden, he can quote for you the prophet to prove that he's wise. The idiot Joe Biden. Any Abdul? All right, I think we have enough for today. I hope you enjoy the time with us. When I say enjoy, some people they say, oh, Christian Prince. We are not here for fun, I say enjoy learning. And this is the purpose of what we do. Feel free to download the video, share it with your friends. And now we have a, a solution if you are a homosexual and you want to get married because we have a Muslim video explain to us how you can marry when you are a homosexual and you can satisfy your wife. Wife? Okay, I don't know. Uh, in, you know, that Muhammad and no better. They, you know, they say what they say and they do what they do. And we learn what we learn. I want to say thank you all for being here and uh, let me know if you what do you think about the topic please leave a comment because your comment can uh, you know help us to increase the view now increasing the view maybe it's not really important for some of you but for me it's important as you see I don't keep my videos I don't keep them I don't make my videos for myself uh, but we want to be sure that we are learning as many, uh, we are teaching as many as we can. So people will not be fooled by the videos Muslims make. So let us say, what we do here is the vaccine against lies. And remember, Islam without lies dies. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince. who is serving you humbly for today. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 